what's up you guys welcome back to another episode of crispy on today is story time i got a story for you guys and there's been <laughs> a few of you asking on my instagram what about the chevelle where's the chevelle that like is it ready how's it going okay this video is gonna make some of you happy because i went and saw the chevelle um crazy story let me let me back up a little so i was out hunting in riverton wyoming about three, four years ago. And um, we ended up going to this place that this gentleman had like, I don't know, I can't remember, a, a crazy amount of acres. And he had a shooting range out there. So we were just killing time. We, we came to his property. You know, we were shooting targets at 800, 900, 1,000 yards or whatever. And he's given us a whole tour of his property. He's a great friend now. Anyways, um, he's got this huge barn and we go over and you know, I see a car over there and I'm like, what is what do you got there buddy and he goes oh this is the first generation el camino and i said man that's a pretty car he goes you think that car is pretty come over here and i was like okay so i walk on over and he has a 1966 chevelle and it was uh it was just a primer i'll post a couple pictures on here so you guys can see the car uh when i got it anyways so we get to talking, you know, I hunt some antelope or, or speed goat or however the heck you want to call it. They got a bunch of different names. Anyway, so I go and hunt that and I come home and, and it's just in the back of my head and I got the gentleman's number and I was like, dude, um, I'm coming back to Riverton, Wyoming to do a uh, mule deer hunt. Um, I would like to bring a, uh, a trailer and buy that car from you. Anyways, he uh, he goes, you know what? I've, I've never thought about selling that car, but since it's you and I appreciate you. And I mean, the guy was super nice. He goes, I'll sell it to you. So I drove from here from Texas, from Austin, Texas, where I was living at the time, all the way to Riverton, Wyoming. And I had had my leg amputated about two months before that. So I didn't even have a prosthetic. I just drove with one leg and a huge ass trailer. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, I get out there, we hunt, I get this awesome, beautiful freaking mule deer, and I got to buy the car from him. So that was that was a plus. That was super awesome and um, brought it back with me. I'm going to post some pictures here so you guys can see them. Okay, see that car was, I mean, it was a little rough, <laughs> but it had a, it has a 454 in it. It was, the engine's running. And um, at the time when I brought it back to me, um, you know, I spent all the money that I had on the car. And so I didn't really have a lot. And I started ordering little parts here and there. And finally, um, I met a group. I'm not gonna name them because uh, I'm not gonna say names. Um, and, and you know, they approached me, they're like, hey man, we'd love to help you out with your car. And I said, yeah, man, it'll be great, you know, let's do it. And uh, it just didn't end up working out. I just didn't have the money at the time and everything went south. So it didn't really work out with them. I was like, you know what, it is what it is, uh, whatever. You know, I'm not gonna bat mouth anybody. It just didn't work out with them. So I had the car shipped to Houston uh, to put it on my buddy, Dorian, the owner of PSC. And, um, uh, and I was like, hey man, can you hold my car for a little bit? I gotta figure out what I gotta do. And he was like, yeah, for sure. So I ended up selling some guns and raised some money and I got the car painted. And now that the car was painted, I, I, I saved a little bit of money and I was like, you know what? I'm ready to, uh, to get this car going. So I put out a message out there and uh, on Instagram and I was like, does anybody know uh, a mechanic or, um, or somebody that works on engines i want to restore this 454 and you know get the car running and then you know take my time with it and one of my uh, one of my followers was like hey dude i know this guy here close to you uh real good dude just moved here uh from uh chicago and does all these amazing things so i link up with the guy we start talking man things are super fast and he's like dude let's let's do this project man i got you and i said all right cool so we came in we assessed the car or whatever and he's like man you know what we should do we should um definitely put an ls3 in this car and ramp it up and 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 just make it a badass car so i said you know what let's do it let's do it so that's what this video is about today 
I'm headed out to go see my buddy Ben, the mechanic, and uh, we are gonna walk you through the car a little bit and what we're gonna do and, and what's the upcoming project with it. Um, I, I can't wait. Uh, every single day, I feel like I'm like the, the stalker ex-girlfriend, like, what do we need to do next? What do we got? La, la, la. And, you know, and he's always so cool and he always answers back, so I, I really, really appreciate him. And the dude is, he knows what he's talking about and he knows what he's doing. So I'm really, really lucky that I met him and we were able to do what we did. So I know you guys are waiting. I know you guys want to see it. I'm going to uh, show you guys uh, a little bit of clip that I, uh, or footage that I recorded the other day that I went out there and, uh, and then I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. And then, all right, Ben, what are we gonna do to all of this? We're gonna end up taking out the whole trunk pan, um, basically making a whole new pan, pull maxed and bead rolled, so that it'll be a little better than what it is, mm -hmm. so that we can show our uh, true metal skills here, and then we are going so to- So you're doing it because of all that rust and, yes. and everything there? Just a couple spots here, there's a couple spots up in here, and this is only the, the only rust on the entire car. Okay. Everything else is clean and ready to go. And then just paint everything so that it looks new with nice black and the speckle paint so it looks fat. So we're gonna get rid of this ugly green, huh? Absolutely, sir. <laughs> and then probably paint underneath here so that that all looks fresh and clean. And then Dynamat the whole interior of it to keep all the heat and sound down. Sweet. All new glass. Um, Polish all the chrome. And we are going to swap out this 454. And we are putting what, an LS3 in it? LS3 based motor. Um, done heads. Um, a bigger, way bigger cam. All full stainless exhaust from the headers all the way back. All made, not bought and so you're gonna fabricate everything absolutely sweet yep new wiring new wiring harness for all underneath here and then reshoot everything under the hood and then we're gonna pull max a whole firewall so that we can make it look so that it doesn't look factory anymore upgrade the brakes and the control arms and all that stuff obviously but and ac and full ac yep and heat i cannot wait to have ac in this car because that was gonna die it's you guys don't understand the summers here in Texas. Mm -mm. You definitely need AC here. And then the inside, we're talking about you're going to cut out. We're going to fix the tunnel and we may have to make the tunnel bigger for because it'll be getting a 4L80 trans. Yep. So the tunnel will probably have to get um, just m m a lot bigger. Um, we're going to do Dakota Digital Dash, but they're vintage style. Um, paint the column. It's already got a tilt column. All, all new vents, everything, all new controls, uh, upgraded radio, and then do a red interior to match the red uh, hood scoops. Yep. We're gonna make the hood scoops functional, and then we felt it, re-rubber it, all new. And by functional, what do you mean? So when, when you're revving the engine, it's gonna open up? Um, no, this, we'll, we'll open these all up so that they'll, we'll make our own aluminum pieces to slide in there all CNC'd. That way it gets fresh air instead of, you know, non-functional. For sure. We're definitely getting rid of this window. Yeah. That Take all the tint off. Crap, yeah. Um, wipers, fully functional wipers. And we'll pretty much make the motor look carbureted and it will be, you know, like a retro style motor. And then rims and tires are going to be a secret. Yes. That definitely is going to be a secret. There it is, guys. And there will be more videos to come. Oh, for sure. Yeah.
Well, there it is. There's the car. Uh, I can't wait, honestly, guys. I know it, it's going to be a lot of things that we got going on with this car. And uh, last night I ordered some bumpers. I ordered some emblems. I ordered a bunch of different stuff online. And they're going to be going to them here pretty soon. So we're going to get going on the car. And uh, hopefully it'll be done in, in here like two or three months. We're, we're really going to push it hard. And uh, I can't wait to see uh, to this, this just to see this car fully functioning and uh, one of the main reasons we went with an LS3 was just because uh, the engine that we were able to find had AC, had heater, had all these things and, and and most of you know that I live here in Texas and honestly I need AC. If not, I would die. <laughs> so we're going to do a bunch of different cool things with this and uh, in the past I know I talked about um, I want to I wanna sell this car and donate all the proceeds to a nonprofit out there that's doing a lot of good work. That's still the plan. That's still what I, what I want to do and that's still what my what, what my heart has been telling me and, and just kind of leaning that way. That's what I want to do. Um, so once that car is done, I'm going to take it to a couple of different shows. I'm going to show it around and then, you know, just kind of throw the bait out there and then set that hook and, and then get it done. and. I know that Ben and I are going to continue to do more projects together. He's just a good dude. I really, really like him. He's, he's awesome. And, uh, you know, I, I honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what this car is going to be like and, and how it's going to get on the road and how awesome it's going to be. So uh, there's that. I will have more updates for you guys as we get further along with the car. Um, there's more videos to come. So I hope you really enjoy this one. Thank you so much for all the love and support, guys. I sincerely appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing better. I hope you're getting back to your everyday life and, and, and continue to do what you do. And I want to take the time to give a shout out to my nieces and nephews who watch all my videos and are always waiting for them. So guys, I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. Please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe on this video if you liked it. And I love you guys and I'll see you next time. But until then, crispy on.